we all know the famous saying, to infinity and beyond. The iconic line by Toy Story superhero Buzz Lightyear as he prepares to shoot into the sky and save the world from intergalactic enemies. The phrase, though entertaining and comical in its meaning, sounds rather far-fetched and bold in its admission. However, what are the chances that there is indeed something beyond infinity? In this video we will explore the possibility that something does, in fact, reside outside of the observable universe and what this could mean for astrology and mankind moving forward. What do we mean when we say the observable universe? Is it indeed possible to see beyond billions of galaxies to something even more spectacular? And what explanations could there be for and against this ambitious statement? Strap in as we set off on our discovery as to what lies beyond the universe in this episode of Access Astronomy. To begin this exciting adventure, we must understand exactly what the observable universe is and what is expected as we attempt to see beyond it. As we all know, the universe itself is a continuous landscape filled with stars, galaxies and planets which are visible based on how much light is able to reach us. What we have been able to discover through the expertise and technological advancements of scientists and astrophysicists over the years is that the universe is approximately 13.82 billion years old. However, this is based solely on what we can currently see and is determined by the speed of light. Whatever lies beyond and therefore hasn't reached us by this reflective light is considered to be evanescent or nothingness. Again, to understand more about how the universe was considered to simply be, and therefore observable in nature, we must look back to the great theoretical physicists and astronomers of our time. Albert Einstein, the legendary German physicist, conjured up the infamous geometric theory of gravitation in 1915, which is currently the most celebrated hypothesis and doctrine in the field of modern physics. Having put this theory into practice a year later, scientists were able to understand the cosmic movement of the universe, that it was unable to remain dormant and was consistently in motion. The expansion of this moving universe became an obsession for many scholars and culminated in yet another landmark philosophical premise by the Belgian physicist and Catholic priest Georges Lumetter. The Big Bang Theory as it is now formally considered, was first theorised by Lemaitre in 1927, one year after he became Professor of Astrophysics at the Catholic University of Leuven. The proposed concept demonstrated the recession of galaxies within the framework of Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Not long after this monumental thesis, American astronomer Edwin Hubble supported and reconfirmed the logic that galaxies were constantly mobile and soaring past each other at a phenomenal rate. At some point, these passing galaxies collided, thus causing the so-called Big Bang, and is the alternative story as to how our planet was born. The event is still ongoing, even to this very day, as dark energy within the cosmos is increasing the distance between the galaxies that is reflected towards our telescopic infrastructure and is termed the observable universe. At present, there is approximately 2 trillion galaxies within the visible universe, which is an unimaginable amount to comprehend. These galaxies have travelled a collective distance of 47 billion light years. However, it is also believed by experts that someday we will be able to observe and witness a staggering 4.7 trillion galaxies within the universe at a measurement of 61 billion light years. This means we are only able to see around 43% of what is currently out there. 
It is worth taking a moment to comprehend these numbers and the amazing work that has been done in the pursuit of such a cosmological discovery. The galaxies that lie beyond the horizon contain multiple planets, moons and space rocks that would take several lifetimes to investigate and record. All we need to do is wait for the light to reach us to begin our exploration. So when we think of the universe as it currently stands, as well as the infinite possibilities that await us on the other side of the cosmic border, we can try to speed up the process by looking at various options. One method would be the creation of a satellite or telescopic machine that can travel faster than the speed of light, or alternatively, a method to surpass the possibilities of the time-space continuum, such as a wormhole. Originally coined in 1928 by the German mathematician, philosopher and theoretical physicist Hermann Weyl, and more recently in films such as Stargate, the speculative structure of wormholes would link two separate points within the space-time domain. If this sounds far-fetched, then it probably is. Yet the discussion of time travel, interplanetary expedition and extraterrestrial intelligence continues to fascinate and inspire physicists across the globe. Speaking of unknown entities, a theory that has been proposed and debated at length with regards to dark flow streaming. The phrase, which has become an interesting talking point amongst the astrophysical community, refers to massive galactic clusters which are moving at high speed in the same direction. What is fascinating about this process is that the streaming of galaxies should be random in relation to their migration and development of the universe as it expands. The fact that these flowing structures are being pulled or forced in the same direction means that something is manipulating their course out with the observable universe and towards the Centaurus and Hydra constellations. In 2010, astronomers Alexander Kashlinsky, Fernando Atrio Barandella, D. Kochevsky and H. Ebling conducted a study into these collective formations. The report's summary detailed a mysterious trend that was both captivating and yet unexplainable. Another mysterious possibility that has got people talking is in reference to the black hole phenomenon. A black hole can formulate at any time, occurring when dying stars collapse under their own mass and are sectors of the aforementioned space-time, where the gravity is so strong that nothing can escape from it, not even light. The perimeter in and around the black hole is known as the event horizon. Scientists have raised the theory that the unobservable universe was actually a black hole itself. However, if this was the case, the speed and revolution of the galactic clusters would be even faster than predicted, as the black hole would effectively suck them in and swallow them up. Instead, the record arrays of matter are travelling at a relatively steady speed with no extra gravitational pull being present or influencing them in a specific direction. Theoretical physicist Nika Dempoplowski believes that our current universe is a very small, detached district from a much larger universe, which got sucked into a black hole and was compressed until it reached a bottomless state. From there, gravitational spins ignited the Big Bang, which gave birth to our current, observable universe and solar system. The event horizon, where time bends much faster than that of light, is the study of many theorists, scientists and physicists, as no one knows what lies beyond these realms. Could it be that each black hole that is seen in our universe actually contains other universes within them? As we are on the subject of understanding the possibility of universal birth and where they are contained within the vastness of space and time, let us look at another piece of cosmic terminology the multiverse. The multiverse is a term used by astrophysicists to describe the concept of multiple universes beyond the observable, 
which are morphing into existence in various pockets or bubbles within the region of space. The multiverse is a generally accepted concept, as opposed to the black hole theory and relates to another named attribute called inflationary cosmology, the idea that straight after the Big Bang occurrence, other universes rapidly grew into life. Gravity would be able to transmit between these sub-universes and their accommodative bubbles, resulting in a multitude of mini Big Bangs, so to speak. The multiverse, or many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, according to American physicist Hugh Everett, adopted the theory in 1957 by describing the behavior of matter through mathematics. The many worlds interpretation described the spawning of infinite branches of the universe with various events, timelines, and species residing in each. Professor Andre Dmitrievich Lind, the Russian-American theoretical physicist, states, In the many worlds interpretation, you still have an atomic bomb, you just don't know exactly when it's going to go off. This gives the impression that there are many Earth-like planets, complete with humanoid creatures capable of recreating a reality that we have here in our own world today. At this moment, we are unable to prove the physical existence of the universal bubbles that may or may not pop up in the multiverse, as there is no way to physically transport from one to the other. Due to this unfortunate setback, there has been much criticism on the philosophical and quantum mechanics-based ideas from the likes of Everett and others. One of the most skeptical responses is the legitimacy of certain arguments that pose the possibility of multiple lives and avatars outside the visible universal realm, as it becomes very difficult to define what exactly these lives entail or what they require. At the present moment, we are still in the process of identifying and researching the boundless terrain of Mars, and with only a dozen men and women having set foot on the moon, it is understandable that critics believe we are letting our imaginations run wild. Luckily, the discussion on otherworldly beings, or aliens, is now being taken more seriously, as technology and reliable testimony have exposed numerous cases of interplanetary contact. This therefore allows us to open our minds to the opportunistic possibilities that are out there, and helps balance the debate as to why we are here in the first place, and what lies beyond. A mathematical equation on the universe is determined by whether the density parameter is greater than, less than, or equal to 1. A spherical universe would be more than 1, a hyperbolic universe would be less than 1, and a flat universe would be equal to 1. Using this calculative theory, it is possible that a universe exists right now, where life is exactly the same as it is here. However, our own personal lives would be totally different, or may not exist at all. The possibilities, theories, and debates are endless when discussing the multiverse theory, and yet such discussions continue to ignite and attract various experts from around the world to put their hypothesis to the test. Finally, and most depressingly, lies the concept that whatever is beyond the universe, whether inside a black hole or as part of a multiverse, is actually nothing at all. An endless space of insignificance. A downbeat theory suggests that, similar to the denial of life after death, that there is absolutely nothing outside of our universe. However, with the ongoing investigative research that has discovered so much in the last century, it is very difficult to comprehend and accept that our world and surrounding cosmic sphere is all that there is to it. Let us hope, for the sake of science, that this is not the case. And so we find ourselves with a lot of questions and hypothetical belief systems that continue to inspire, frustrate, and prove that whatever lies beyond the observable universe is still worthy of investigation and intellectual debate. Whether it be that a black hole has swallowed up our part of the cosmos, 
or that we are just a small cog in a gargantuan wheel and residing in a multiverse remains to be seen. For sure it will take many years to decipher the enigma of space, the possibility of time travel, as well as the understanding of the galaxies, universes, or indeed extraterrestrial life that reside on the other side of the horizon. Until then, we must always be confident that although we cannot see the other side just yet, that doesn't mean that there is nothing there. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Access Astronomy. Let us end with another quote from Toy Story, which epitomizes the struggle and determination of our fellow astronomers as we dare to imagine, and in the words of Buzz Lightyear's best friend Woody, reach for the sky. Take care, we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.